Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, a lot of people in port thought, oh no, the carnival victory's on fire. Nah, she wasn't on fire. So a lot of people saw this picture of a webcam that films the cruise ports um, and puts them out there of black smoke rising from the funnel of a carnival victory. And at first a lot of people thought there was a fire on board because there was so much black smoke. And, but then they all noticed that eventually they saw that it's coming from the funnel, it's coming from the cruise ship itself, it didn't appear to be on fire, um, and a lot of people were speculating on what this is. A lot of people were making jokes about it, you know, uh, looks like someone burnt the toast, and uh, then there are the environmentalists who are pushing the agenda of cruise ships are horrible, look at the pollution they're causing, uh, and really that part could not come at a worse time considering Carnival Cruise Lines just lost another, you know, total of $60 million in court cases for environmental, you know, decisions, shall we say, that they made where they're caught dumping and burning fuel in the wrong areas. So publicly, they, you know, in a time when they want that to go away and they just launched their first LNG cruise ship with all the benefits of LNG fuel, uh, it will you know, that's what they should be talking about. The Ada cruise ship out there that is burning 99% less particle emissions and zero sulfur. So that's what they should be focusing on instead. Their older cruise ship, the Victory, goes out and boom, smoke all in the air. And a lot of people were wondering, how, you know, what causes this? And it can be quite simple. Usually it's caused by a fuel mixture issue. Either it's getting too much fuel or it's getting, you know, not enough. And this, you know, it's an incorrect mixture when the cruise ship starts. And it's, it's correctable. They fix it within a couple minutes. So it wasn't like this went on all day or anything. It was basically on the startup of one of the one of the engines. So it wasn't uh, a catastrophe, shall we say? It did not look very good. It did not look good on the cruising industry when that happens, especially that much black smoke. Um, it's one thing for a few gray particles to be visible. Completely different when it's a big plume of black smoke. It really does not look good, right? And then this. In this day and age in social media, it's optics, optics, optics. How do things look? Because a picture says a thousand words, and this picture said one of two things. You're on fire, or you're polluting the atmosphere. So, uh, Carnival Victory, uh, boiler room there, kind of has to keep an eye on this stuff because it just wasn't a good look. But the good thing is, they did fix it. It went back to normal. Not a big catastrophe and there was no fire as a lot of people first speculated uh, out there well i hope you like this update if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more tips more tricks more travel blogs from around the world hit that subscribe button until next time have yourself a safe and a great vacation